The Titans have a pretty weak receiving core on paper, but the biggest problem to me is a lack of depth. I actually think their top three is really promising. Traylon Burks has shown that he can beat press coverage and win at the catch point consistently. If he can add some more after the catch like we saw in college, there's no reason he can't be a good wide receiver one. Chigakonkwo had one of the most efficient rookie seasons of all time for a tight end. Anytime the Titans got him the ball last year, good things happened. He's dynamic after the catch, he's a crisp route runner, and he has really good ball skills. So I feel great about Chig as the second option, but I think the biggest X factor for this offense is Kyle Phillips. Before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also follow us on all of our social medias. You can find the links to those in the description below. Phillips was a fifth round pick last year and he only ran 48 routes as a rookie before a shoulder injury ended his season. So I understand why most people's expectations aren't that high, but I'd like to see one person cover him successfully before I give up on Kyle Phillips. I watched his college tape and nobody could cover him. He was one of the most impressive players at the Shrine Bowl. He got really good reviews in training camp and then he gets to the NFL and it looks exactly like his film from UCLA. This is gonna be a shorter video because he was only targeted 13 times last year so there isn't much tape to break down but there's still enough flashes to get me excited for his second year so right here he's got press coverage from the slot great footwork at the line of scrimmage to secure an inside release he uses a swim move to prevent the corner from re-establishing contact and then he accelerates upfield at this point the corner's in trail technique a couple steps behind him so he doesn't telegraph the route he's quick out of his break and then perfect ball placement by ryan Tannehill. When you can get Phillips matched up on a safety and off coverage, it's almost automatic. On this play, he's running a deep out. Rodney Thomas is playing with inside leverage, so Phillips could just stem this route straight up field and still have the leverage advantage at his break, but he actually attacks the DB's leverage and gets him to squeeze inside even more. Then he bends inside and gives a double move in the opposite direction before breaking to the sideline. The pass wasn't catchable, but there's no one on Tennessee's roster, including Traylon Burks, who's capable of running routes like this. And when you get into traditional drop back situations, you need players who can consistently beat man coverage. Right here, he's running a corner route. Good job at the line of scrimmage of closing the space quickly and getting upfield. And you can see at the stem, his eyes are pointed directly towards the end zone. There's nothing in his body language that would tip off Darnay Holmes to what route he's running. And then in one quick motion, he breaks outside and makes a nice catch along the sideline. On this play, he's running a quick slant and he uses a foot fire technique to close the space and threaten the defensive back with a two way go. This slot corner went to maintain some breathing room before the break, but Phillips eliminates most of that and then sticks the landing with a hard outside step, which forces the DB to back off and create space for the break inside. So I'm not sure how productive Kyle Phillips is going to be this year. It's not a high volume passing offense, and he's obviously got to stay healthy. But as long as he's on the field, I think he'll be an effective slot receiver with a skill set that Tennessee doesn't have anywhere else. He can run one through eight on the route tree at a high level. I don't think he has the speed or the contested catch skills to be much of a vertical threat, but he can create consistent separation within 20 yards. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any NFL players or teams that you'd like me to cover.